Hi friend, good morning. Today we'll discuss on the copy how to copy a calculator calculation view and also a different option of copy once we try to create a calculation view. Okay, so again I'm just going to create a calculation view. I'm creating a new calculation view and this will be our third calculation view. So it's now see this is the package where you are creating okay this is the description so you can change the description so if you you can write product view calculation Product view calculation, view calculation. Now is a calculation. Now is a calculation view. Okay. Here I have told you like you can you can change it to attribute. You can change it to analytic view. So if you if you done it in the wrong way, like wrongly, like if you would like to create analytic view, attribute view, attribute view. But unfortunately, you are creating this calculation view. So in that case, that option can be allowed you to change these things over here. Okay. So let's uh, keep it calculation view. Then it's a standard or a time dimension. So to know the time dimension, it would ask you to create a time dimension. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come it later. Next, you have a graphical and have a scripting. So see in the drop down, it will tell you two different ways of calculation view. There is one is a graphical calculation view, one is a scripting calculation view. Scripting, you can write a SQL script, which is not recommended nowadays. It is replaced by a table function. So that also a different studio altogether. I will come my later classes. And also we have a there is a one option for start here. And this is typically used for a start schema. If the people are from BW background, they will able to understand like what is the start schema, what is so here typically it is it is allow help us to creating a start schema if you would like to join from a, a fact table with couple of dimension tables. So in that case, this start schema is really helpful. Okay. So I'll come and I'll, I'll, I'll make you understand like how to how do this star schema. Okay, so fine. And today in this in this video also I'll try in a copying how to copy a view from different view. So I'm clicking a copy from. So see all those will be gone. So it will be just a replica of copy of your previous view. And I'm clicking on the browse. See, it will help you all those folders, right? So I'm going to in this general folder. In this standard calculation view, see it's only showing the calculation view. It's see active and active view over there, but this folder is not available over here. It's so that you, it's mean that you can only copy calculation view, right? So, and I am just selecting this product 002. I'm clicking on finish. See, there is the same copy of product 002 is already created, and as I've created a to join. See this left out of join is showing it is a two cycles and the first cycle left and cycle is fully full. So it's a left out of join. So that's the kind of presentation what is have we are having. Now I'm clicking on the activation to activate these things. So again it'll ask for transport as expected. I'm clicking on the transport, I'm clicking on the finish. So it is just creating activating this. It's activated. Now let's do a data preview and see how it looks like. This is our data, data preview. See the same thing, it's a kind of nothing but replica of a 002 product, right? So, that is so. In this video, you learn what you define option of for creating calculation view, and number two is we have learned like how to copy calculation view from existing calculation view. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.